is no, no matter the relationships you've built, the love you have, the loyalty you have, it's still a business. So I definitely made the, the business decision to leave Chicago and join Atlanta. All right. So so talk to me about this calendar, because I know it's hot off the presses, girl. What's going on with it? <laughs> yes, um, I have a calendar that I launched um at the beginning of the new year it's doing really well um it's just basically showing my sexy side my you know a side that most basketball players don't get a chance to really show or showcase so um it's something that i love to do i love modeling so i just wanted to um start by telling a story and that's what i'm that's what i did with this calendar it's like it's it's got a a nice little caption and a title of each, you know, I, I named all my pieces um, because to me, it's like, it's like a, a form of art. So yeah, calendars for sale. <laughs> well, I am going to miss you, Cheyenne, but I'm excited. I'm excited to see this next chapter in your journey and best of luck to you in Thank the you. ATL. Thanks, Eric. I appreciate it. Uh, Bailey Johnson. Hey, Cheyenne, Bailey Johnson with the next. Um, I know three-point shooting is something you've added to your game sort of in the last couple of years. How did you decide to add that to your game and sort of develop that aspect? Um, I just always try to get better every year. You know, I try to always add something new, add more um, savvy, more skill, um, whatever it may be. Like, um, for example, in the offseason this year, um, now that I've found my shot now I'm focusing on um, longer deeper range faster release um, uh, quicker first step moves you know just always just trying to improve and become a better basketball player there's something that I've learned about myself is that my potential is endless so I'm just excited to get better with Atlanta and um, and just you know take off <laughs> All right, Howard Megdal, go ahead. Cheyenne Howard Megdal at the next. Congratulations and good to chat with you always. Thank you, Howard. I appreciate it. I'm curious, you know, every single year has been a step up for you. If you look at production, if you look at uh, the range of things that you're able to do on the court, uh, you're at an age, though, where you should be in your prime and there's next steps presumably still to go. So you just spoke a little bit about this in your answer to Bailey, but I'm wondering what do you see both as your next step individually and just uh, team-wise, how much that factored into the decision to go into Atlanta to what you could build collectively? Um, that's, that's, that's a good question. So for me, you know, like I was saying, like personally, I just want to obviously be better than I was last year. So I'm focusing on more weaknesses um, than strengths and just trying to improve the rough spots. Um, like for example, my defense, uh, my team defense, all around team defense, um, individual defense, not so much, but just more like team defense and knowing where to be, when to be, knowing the schemes. Um, that's something that I wanna improve on. And um, I think that comes with just watching film, analyzing film and um, realizing where I need to be and working on that. Um, I think that's something that I want to bring to the next, to my next level. You know, the coach talked a lot about having a dominant post presence and needing that uh, dominant post presence to also be able to stretch the, flo the floor. So right now my focus is basically on being that dominant post presence that she's looking for. And um, I think this is a great opportunity for me to kind of like spread my wings and finally get that starting position or um, more than like, uh, 20 minutes, maybe, you know, let's like really getting the opportunity to put some nice, nice numbers up. Thanks, Cheyenne. All the best. Thank you. All right, Terrell Thomas, we'll go to you. Uh, good morning. Welcome to Atlanta. Uh, Terrell Thomas, these urban times. What was it about the Atlanta dream uh, that made you decide to come here? And did you have any other teams in your on your radar that you were considering before deciding to actually come to the A? Um, so I actually had planned on going back to Chicago just out of my love and loyalty to them um, until I found out that I actually um, had a much higher worth um, than I was being offered with Chicago. So once I realized that and I heard there were a few other teams interested, I did uh, weigh my options, obviously. Um, however, Atlanta was a no brainer. 
um, as far as all the other teams that we're offering because for one, I have a lot of family in Atlanta. I have a lot of friends in Atlanta. Um, I went to high school in Atlanta for a couple of years. So that when I was saying on Instagram, like it really feels like a homecoming. It really does. Like it's so many people that's already just reached out like, this is crazy. Like you, like you're so close to home. And even in North Carolina where I finished high school, like even there is closer to there too. So it's just so much love and support I'm getting. Um, but the reason I chose Atlanta was like I said, it was more of a business decision. Like Atlanta is a growing community, especially for the black businesses. Um, and that's something, like I said, I'm an entrepreneur. So black business is something that, you know, right up my alley. Um, I'm also very interested in movie production and Tyler Perry is somebody I look a lot up to. Like I literally love Tyler Perry. Um, so I really look forward to eventually crossing paths with him. And he just opened a really amazing studio there. Um, so it's just a lot of reasons that Atlanta was just, you know, a hands down choice. And that's just aside from the basketball, the basketball side with the opportunities that I'm going to have, um, the roster, you know, the roster is full of dogs <laughs> and I, I hate to call them dogs, but what I mean by that is just true athletes. We have a very athletic roster. Um, I made a joke. Uh, <laughs> I made a joke to my boyfriend. I'm like, "Dang, I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the slowest one on the team." Um, <laughs> so yeah, you know, I'm working my quickness this year. <laughs> but um, I love this. I love the athleticism that the roster has. Um, just the the fact that we can really show a lot of heart with our defense and our 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 grit. You know, I love the grittiness of the of the rosters, and I feel like I'm gonna fit right in. Thank you. Jamila Johnson, we'll go to you. Hey, Cheyenne, welcome to Atlanta. Um, Thank you. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, you already kind of mentioned this, that you already know a lot of people in Atlanta. As far as your teammates, have you spoken to any of your teammates already? If so, can you share what they uh, talked to you about? And also, I wanted to ask you a follow-up question after this. Okay. Um, yes, I, of course, reached out after we... Um, after I was allowed to legally announce that I was a part of the dream, I reached out to them um, shortly after. And I just pretty much, I sent like a mass text to everybody saying the same thing. Like, I'm looking forward to meeting you all and, and playing with you ladies. And let me know when you in town so we could uh, get in the lab and start making some chemistry. And I really did say that. So I have bars, um, but we're not talking about that. Um, Yes, I reached out to everyone um, and I heard back from Tiff and I already knew Tiff. Tiff and I uh, were a part of the FAM organization. Courtney Williams is part of the family organization. Um, FAM, FAM Sports is just basically an agency that we are all signed with. Um, so I have a relationship with a lot of the players just through that. Um, so yeah, we, we spoke briefly and uh, Mo, Mo was just like, if you need anything, let me know, girl community plug. So everyone's being very wel welcoming. Um, they added me to the group chat. So it's official. I'm like on the squad now. Awesome. Thank you. And also you spent your time, your off season, but you were still playing. So it wasn't really off for you, but you were playing in France. And what was that like during the pandemic and everything? I am here right now <laughs> in France. Yes, I'm in France. I'm in the South of France right now. Um, no, but this was actually the most amazing place I've played since I've been playing. I've been playing six seasons and it's so beautiful here. Um, and we're just going to be happy because I'm selling her team right now. Yes, BLMA. I'm right on the beach. Like if I flip the screen, you'll see the beach. Um, it's been really cool. Like even though it's COVID, I think this is probably the best place to end up on lockdown because you're still you can still be on your balcony enjoying the scene, the view. Um, thankfully, I've been in a really nice, beautiful nature place because it's kept my headspace. You know, I, I've been fine. I've been surviving fine. I have my dog here, um, so it's been fine. The off season has been fine. I've been in, I've been in France, uh, just chilling, working out, doing the same old thing. Um, I'm really excited to be coming home. Though I just finished here, I'll be going home next week. Um, packing up obviously in Chicago to make my transition, but I'm excited to get back and just start like, you know, training with the, the coaches in Atlanta and building that, you know, building that chemistry, that rhythm, like getting into my everyday rhythm. Thank you. Aria Schwartz, go ahead. 
Thank you. Arya Schwartz, Winsider. I want to talk about your game for a second here. You're a big presence on both sides of the ball, but specifically with this roster and your game, what are, what excites you? Like, what are you most looking forward to? Um, Kind of like what I was talking about earlier, like just the, the athleticism, like I'm looking most forward to being a defensive identified team. Um, I really like the idea that we're all so gritty and, um, we can really identify ourselves as the dogs of the league, you know, and just be those, those dogs that nobody wants to play against because our defense is just, um, elite. And, 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 you know, a lot of people, I don't know the word to call it, but when your defense is just like, nobody wants to play them because they go on, you know, they're about to lock up and, and they're not going for none of that. So that is what I'm really most excited about the defense, because I know the defense wins games, um, and I've already read so many articles that saying, you know, you know, there's always going to be those articles that come out and give you that fuel that that's doubting the team. And I've already read, you know, just about how, um, you know, are we ready to be a playoff contending team? And uh, absolutely, we're ready to be a, you know, playing a uh, playoff contending team. There's no question in my head about that. Um, and I, I, that's what I'm most excited about. I'm most excited about proving those people wrong because you know of course we're gonna get we're gonna get rated real low at the bottom and and I love that like that's what I'm excited to to see those ratings because that's what I'm gonna use to to fuel my teammates all season long to just kick ass oh my bad just to kick <laughs> what, butt you know? one quick follow-up um what do you think is the most underrated part of your game um I would say you know I would say shooting the three but that's probably something I would say last year. Uh, this year, I'm, I think I think I've earned that respect. Like that's something that Nikki um, emphasized. Like you know, we know you can shoot the ball. We want you to shoot the ball. You know, so to have a coach just flat out say that to me off jump, uh, you know, that's the, I'm excited. That you know that that's something that shows me like all my hard work has paid off, and now it's just at this point building on that. Um, but I think. Besides that, I think something that I can work on um, offensively is, what was the question? Sorry, I definitely tracked off. <laughs> no, no worries. Uh, what you believe your most <laughs> underrated aspect of your game is. Underrated aspect, that's right. Not getting enough See, attention. And that's what I would say. I think, I, think it, I think I'm gonna stick with my shot because I think people still don't really know yet. Like. What, what, what's, what's, what's to come, you know, like I, like I said, I'm working on my range now and so far is, is looking nice. So I think my, my most underrated part of my game would be my shot, my three point, my range for sure. Shoot your shot. Exactly. Uh, Pepper Parsley, go ahead. Hi Cheyenne, it's nice to talk with you today. I was Hi. just wondering, Hi, yeah. Have you ever had a chance to speak with Coach Colin about your role on the team? Yes, uh, we've spoken. Um, she, um, I kind of talked about it earlier a little bit. She just really emphasized that something that they've lacked for a few years is just like a very uh, dominant post presence, you know, having scores off the block from passing the ball in the block. Um, and that's something that like, that's like my specialty, you know, uh, so the, uh, the on the block work is something that um, she's looking for, you know, and, you know, that that excited me because like, you know, that's something that I'm um, it's kind of like that's my bread and butter. Um, and then she also mentioned that she's looking for a post player that can spread the floor and create space for the guards to do their thing because of the type of guards that we do have. Um, and that's something also that I can bring to the team. So it was really exciting to hear what, you know, the things that she's looking for, because it's exactly what I can, you know, can bring and it's, it's, it's something that I'm excited. I'm excited to, um, to, to have, you know, that, that type of role, that type of responsibility. I'm, I'm just like ready to embrace it. You know, I'm excited to step up to the challenge, um, and, you know, be a leader on the floor, which is something that I've worked up to this point to, to finally have the chance to do. And I'm excited about that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, Raphael Haynes, we'll go to you. Hey, Raphael from a three-point conversion. First of all, congratulations on coming to Atlanta once again. 
Thank you. You, you talked about um, reading some article, reading an article and they was sent, talking about this team couldn't compete or whatever, which is crazy to me. You think about all the talent you all have with Kennedy, Courtney, Mo, Tiff, <laughs> name a few, then we add, we're adding you as well. I know, you know, every year you all look, you know, hey, we want to win game by game, but our goal is, you know, championship maybe. But honestly, are you really thinking about we can do some damage here and really make some noise in the playoffs? Yes, honestly. Yes. I, it's not, I'm not uh, selling a fairy tale. Like I'm not selling like this, the, this, you know, the one thing, and I want my teammates to know that and believe that and know that. Um, and that's just from being a vet in the league now up to this point, it, it's anybody's game any night. And it's about a it's about a mindset and mentality on who's winning and who's losing. Um, and I think we have the grit and I think we have the ability and I don't think, you know, we're definitely playoff. Um, we definitely, there's no question. I don't have any doubt about that. Then just as a follow up, you're very flamboyant, you know, love to have fun and all that. You, you look at this, this um, team, Tiff, that's my girl. She, she's crazy. She's, you know, everybody love to have fun. Do you think you fit in well, not just on a basketball court as far as playing, but just personality wise and having fun and everything? Do you think it's a great fix match? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hands down. Yeah. I'm, that That's the least, like, that's something that naturally, um, like, like, for example, I, I already had that, you know, kind of relationship with them off the court. So, as far as that's concerned, yeah. Yeah, that's a given. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a great time. I'm excited. Thank you. <clears throat> Down to our last few questions here. Uh, Zach Gottlieb, go ahead. Hi, Zach Gottlieb from Primetime Sports Talk. First of all, I wanted to say congratulations. Big move to Atlanta. Thank you so much. And I just wanted to ask, we're in a not normal off season with COVID and all you know, meeting people is a little harder these days. How do you expect to build that chemistry with your teammates? Um, it's definitely going to be rough. You know, it's going to, we're going to have rough, a rough time at it, you know, just because of the short turnaround of some people are overseas and some people, you know, are dealing with their own thing and um, COVID obviously. Um, but, you know, that's just a part of it. You know, the chemistry will naturally start to build the more we play together, the more we practice together. Um, and that's why I think I did reach out to them so soon. Like, um, and I don't know if players do that or not, but I want to win. I want to win games. You know, I want us to grow and build this franchise. Like I even want to, I, I even, I don't know if the PR, she, uh, she might've heard about me already. Cause I was like, I want to talk to the marketing team. I want to talk to, you know, I want to build the franchise as much as I can because that's something that I, I love to, you know, I, like I said, I love production and just marketing and getting more exposure for the WNBA period, you know? And so the more love and attention we can get to the Atlanta dream, the better. So, um, yeah. Thank you. All right, Eric Wilson, we'll go back to you. Cheyenne, you brought up, uh, you know, meditation and everything. So I definitely wanted to ask you about that because I know when you were in the wobble last year, you know, that was something that you really focused on to make sure you stayed centered and grounded and focused when it came to the short season. Talk mm -hmm. to me about what's happened between then and now. How has the meditation been going? Uh, you know, how are you mentally feeling? And as you gear up to start this new team, you know, what, what's, what's your mindset like right now? Um, it's been going really great, actually. Um, I've, I've enjoyed meditation just as much here. Um, it's even better when you're like close to nature like this, might I add. Um, I think that is why I'm in a great headspace here. Like I'm not, most of the time I'm in a rush to get home from overseas and we've just finished our last game Saturday and I, I don't leave until next week. Like I'm, I'm really chilling. Like I'm just decompressing and, um, looking at properties here. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I fell in love with this place. I'm looking at properties here. Um, but the the headspace, the meditation, it has been great. And the place I'm at, um, I've been like, I, like I said, I've been working out with the coach here and working on my range. So that's something that 
I've really just been focusing on just getting better in the lab, you know. Um, I'm, I'm in a good place mentally. I'm confident. I'm excited for a new chapter, for a new beginning. And um, I think, I think you know, overall, as far as the meditation is concerned, like, I'm really excited that Monique, she has her own, like, um, channel where she, where she does it. And I, I finally did one. And I'm like, oh, we're going we're gonna to have a great pre pregame uh, sesh. Like, I'm really excited about that, you know. Um, so, yeah. I hope that answered your question. It did. And I, and I will say this. I think something that people underestimate about you is what you have on your arm. It's your relentlessness. And that is something that I can honestly say is, is I'm going to miss seeing. So I'm, I guess I guess I'm going to have to watch some Atlanta Dream games this year. Yeah, that's all. That's all. Tune in. Tune in. That's all. Tune in. I appreciate you, Cheyenne. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you, Eric. All right. We'll go to Christina Williams for the last question. Go ahead, Christina. Hey Cheyenne, it's Christina from Girls Talk Sports TV. Oh, hey girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my question for you is, um, obviously yesterday was the start of Black History Month. Can you talk about the pride you have in being a Black female athlete? Man, um, first of all, I'm blessed to be where I am. I'm blessed to be at, at the place I am in my life as a Black woman. Um, I'm truly blessed and um, I think it's super important for us to acknowledge um, where Black women are in history uh, as athletes, as business women, as um, artists. You know, it's just truly a beautiful thing, and you know, we're still going. This is this is this is just on on the journey. You know, I'm just a part of the journey, a part of the history line. So I'm just thankful to be a part of it, and I'm thankful for the opportunity for the moment. Tomorrow is National Girls and Women in Sports Day. Uh, what advice do you have for girls or women who um, aspire to be where you are today? Advice I would have for any young lady that's watching or reading would be to always believe in yourself. Never ever doubt yourself. Never question yourself for one second. No matter no matter who may question you, no matter who may doubt you and tell you you can't do something, always believe that you can and that you're capable and you're able. Thank you so much and best of luck in Atlanta. Thank you, Christina. Good to talk to you. Always. <laughs> All right, thank you everybody. Um, I'll send a recording around. Thank you, Cheyenne, for taking the time. All right, thank you. Thank Welcome you. to Atlanta. Thanks. Thank you guys.